Uh, it's time now, I'm very excited to say, to meet our first speaker. Um, so Jean Julien is a creative who needs very little introduction with an enviable portfolio of art, illustration and graphic design that's full of witty and often surprisingly relatable works, always executed in his signature hand-drawn style. Tonight, he's joining us to talk through what he's been making during isolation, including some personal responses to the current situation, a cover for the Wall Street Journal and a painting exhibition. Um, so now, Jean, let's hope this works. Please turn on your video and your audio uh, so we can actually see you and say hello. Is he there? Hey, there he well, is. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Fantastic. Um, so, Jean, tell us where you're, where you're dialing in from and also, uh, yeah, how you're hey, finding bro. lockdown, I guess. Hi, Matt. I'm dialing in from uh, Brittany in France, on, on the west coast of France. That sounds, sounds lovely. Quite a good place to be in lockdown, I imagine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Can um, you hear me well? Yeah, no, no, you're, you're all good. Yeah, okay, um, good. we'll let you know if, we can, if, if there's any issues on that front. Um, right. I'm going to let you now share your screen and um, show us the work that you've been making over the past few weeks. Um, and then I'll duck out and I'll come back in about right. 10, 12 minutes Is and uh, have a chat. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's working fine. Over to you. Can everybody <laughs> see okay? Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'll get started. Uh, first of all, thanks to you tonight for having me tonight and thanks for all of you uh, for tuning in. Um, yeah, it's a weird, weird it's nice that, uh, nice that Tuesday is in a weird situation for everyone. So I thought I'd talk about what I've been up to um, since confinement started. Um, as in work in the time of COVID-19. Um, for me, it weirdly started on, on the day of my birthday. That's when I first sort of reacted to the current situation. Um, I've got this very self-centered thing of doing a, a, a social network post on the day of my birthday as a sort of humorous take on, on self-pity. Uh, but strangely, I've seen that being reused afterwards by other people in a similar situation. So that was nice um, that people could relate to that. Um, at the beginning, I started also doing music, graphic musings on what uh, life during quarantine might mean. And I guess at this time, I didn't really know um, because it was just starting. And as the whole situation sort of unraveled, a strange new reality um, appeared to me, as I'm sure it has for all of you guys. Um, and this sort of weird bubble-like bubble, bubble -like world appeared with its own sort of rituals, uh, like the Zoom aperitif that we've been doing with friends. And, and that's actually what we are doing right now as well. Uh, it reminded me of, of that character, Inspector Gadget, a cartoon that some of you might be familiar with. Um, but uh, beyond that, I've also had the leisure of, of trying to uh, be creative with whatever I could find around, which is something that I do when I'm, um, when I'm looking for ideas. But here, I guess, I have been looking for ideas and I've had a lot of time on my hand, like we all have. Um, I've been doing a little bit of arts and crafts with my kids as well, which is what my work normally looks like, but they actually had some uh, proper um, childlike contribution. But beyond, um, beyond personal little reactions uh, that I've been doing on, on social media, I've also been quite astounded uh, by the amount of social efforts and charity initiatives that have been appearing. And I guess in, in the worst of time, some very good bits have appeared. And I've tried uh, my best to sort of take part in online initiative like, like a, lot, a lot of us have. Um, one of the first things I've been doing was this live drawing thing on Instagram for the benefit of the British Red Cross. Uh, my wife Sarah has been a nurse for eight years at the Royal London Hospital. And so the NHS and its workers is something that was quite dear to my, to my heart. So I've tried to do a little fundraising. Um, and it's something that I'll actually do tomorrow as well for a different charity at, at 4 p.m. Um, there's now a live donation button, so it's, it's quite cool that we're able to do that. And the nice thing about that experience is that um, I could see the comments as I was drawing and what started as something with a specific idea in mind became this really nice collaborative participative drawing where a lot of people were chiming in and suggesting different workers to um to include and it was a really great experience 
another good project that I've taken part, I've been invited to take part in was this project um, Les Cartes Vitales, which is a French initiative um, where a few illustrators got asked to send a design on the theme of writing for research and people could donate money and get cards in exchange and send them. Uh, so there was a nice take on the communication dilemmas we find ourselves in. Another initiative was something um, created by my friend Julien Femme, which is a, a fantastic guy linked to um, the food world in, in Paris and now worldwide. And he was concerned with the aftermath for um, not companies, but smaller businesses and craft people, uh, be it a, a baker, a delivery man, a pizza yolo, uh, a barista, all, all of this people that sort of make our everyday life that might be impacted. And he teamed uh, me up with uh, another good friend of us, Alexi uh, Tayeb, whose pen name is uh, Tiasa. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with his fantastic work. And he came up with the typography and I did the illustration. And it's just um, this sort of icon that will be used as a sort of support network. Another project was initiated by this brand called uh, Les Trois Lumières. And they ask a lot of illustrators to come up with a design for a dove to uh, be included in a coloring book that would then be donated to um, a children's hospital in Montreal. So that's just a really lovely, nice project like there has been many. And lastly, uh, another project that I took part in was actually me reaching out to um, my good friends at Only. Only is a, a brand uh, based in New York that I've been working with for a few years now. I lived in, in New York for a bit, and it's a city that uh, has been dear to me forever, culturally. Um, and obviously, as we've all seen, and as many other places have been really badly impacted by what's going on now, and I just wanted to find a way to sort of create a design for a shirt, something to then raise money uh, for those it needs. And in the end, as a, a sort of discussion with the guys and only, we ended up doing a sort of remix of a design we had done in the past, which was this sort of um, NY fraternity symbol with people shaking hands and we, we've done an update uh, symbolizing that, yeah, that was definitely still going on, but with the right social distancing protection and everything. Um, but like a lot of you have also been trying to carry on working um, and I've been, I've been receiving a few uh, commissions and it was interesting to see that as much as personal reactions, the, the world of illustration and its content got impacted as it should. So that's a cover that I've got us to do for a French magazine called Telerama that I've been working with for a few years now. And they've always been very supportive of my work. I'm very friendly with um, the art director, Laurent. And he asked me to design a cover on, on this, the unraveling situation. And I guess at the time, because it was still quite unknown, the thing that I wanted to insist on was the fact that um, there was a strange new reality, but we still have to keep contact, just a different kind of contact. So that was the final cover. Um, another job I did was an editorial for uh, the Washington Post that I've been doing editorial drawings for a few years now. Um, and it's always just very loose and, and easy and asking me like, you know, what's going on for you at the moment? Do you want to react to this subject? And, and for this one, I wanted to uh, react on, on our current situation with Sarah, my wife, and she's currently off work on maternity leave and she's taking the lion's share of, of dealing with the kids on a day-to-day basis. but it does feel like this deflating bubble, um, yeah, deflating bubble of isolation where we're trying to work, but it's, it's a bit tight um, and you see it in, in context. And the last commission I wanted to mention was, was I wanted to include a little bit of working process because that was a tricky one for me was for the Wall Street Journal. Um, and the pitch was quite loose, but it was um, this sort of communication breakdown and how does someone say something and it gets heard the other way. And as we got more information, I then realized it was about the current situation with the virus and how a younger generation might tell um, the older generation to be more careful. And it comes out of a place of, of love and, and, and care from the younger people, but somehow it gets transformed into this alienating feeling of, of um, restriction from some of the older parts. So it makes more sense with the text, obviously, but it was, it was an interesting case of problem solving for me.
And lastly, something that I want to talk about briefly is uh, paintings, because I've been doing paintings for the past few years and I've really enjoyed it. Not as a, not uh, in a position to drawings, all the more humorous bit that I've been doing, but as a, a parallel path. Um, drawings has always sort of allowed me to be quite focused and and to, yeah, to be more focused on, on the humorous situation where the painting is much more poetic, slightly um, more open for interpretation. And I've been going through a lot of um, back photos and, and things that have been meaning to paint for a long time, time passing and, and landscapes and I think things that we might uh, want to see soon, all of us. I was meant to have a show in New York with Chandran Gallery on April the 30th. Obviously, as for everybody, the situation changed, but we thought since everyone was um, locked in at home, why not try to bring um, the show into people's home? You know, after all, it's like Matt was saying earlier, if there's one good bit to that bad situation is that we can actually bring creativity into people's home um, for free and everywhere. So with that in mind, with my brother Nico and Studio Julia, uh, Erwin Lucier designer at Studio Julia, we decided to um, come up with this sort of online exhibition prequel, which is called Home Slice and um, we'll be opening it on, on Thursday. So I'll put information on Instagram, but everyone can, can check it out and I'll be, uh, I'll be donating some of the, the money from that to uh, a charity, Fondation France, uh, who's helping medical workers in France. Um, and we'll also be doing a print that's where the money will entirely be donated to a uh, relief effort. Um, that's about it. I hope, I hope that was okay. I'm not very good at talks, but thank you very <laughs> much for listening. Thank you so much, John. Uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'll, I'll clap for everyone, I think, at home. Um, thank you. And a lovely, lovely kind of uh, image to end on as well. Um, I guess people who regularly come to Nice Tuesdays will, will not expect this, but we're going to do something slightly different in, uh, in that we're going to ask a question of each of our, um, our uh, speakers today. And kind of th those will be things that have been submitted, questions that have been submitted from our audience. Um, so one for you, Jean, um, is how has social media influenced or changed your work? Someone asks. Um, obviously, you have yeah, a really big and engaged following on Instagram, particularly, I guess. Um, have you found that that's kind of influenced your work in any way? Um, no, for me, the, the sort of work started with social media because I was sharing some of my work as I was studying uh, at Central St. Martin. So that's how I started doing what I do. Uh, and I don't know what influence was. So it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation here. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Well, listen, thanks very much. Um, if I could ask you to stop sharing your screen, and um, I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to turn off your audio and okay. video. Thank you very um, much, everyone. <laughs> there he is. Good to see you.